AquaShield is a new range of non-permeable universal fittings that are an ideal solution on brownfield sites to connect different barrier pipe systems. Before assembly, ensure that the SDR rating of the pipe is correct for the barrier pipe flange adapter. If an SDR17 pipe is used on an SDR11 spigot, the fitting will not function. Cut the pipe end as square as possible and remove any reversion. Ensure both inside and outside of pipe are free of any dirt, debris or scoring. Loosen the bolts on the clamp bands enough to remove the three clamp bands from the flange adapter. Slide the clamp band assembly over the pipe, ensuring that the hooks are facing towards the open end of the pipe. Slide the pipe onto the spigot of the flange adapter, ensuring that the end of the pipe is flush with the spigot flange face. Align the clamp bands with the groove and then check that the pipe is visible in at least two of the windows. This will ensure the pipe is in the correct position. The bolts are reversible and can be adjusted to suit the ease of installation. Working around the fitting, evenly tighten up the bolts sequentially and incrementally, turning each three or four turns at a time with the torque wrench. There will be one bolt per clamp band on a 90mm fitting, three bolts overall. Torque up the bolts using a calibrated torque wrench and bolt up to a torque of 200 to 210 newton meters. Continue working around until the correct bolt torque is achieved on all nuts with the torque wrench. The product will not properly seal if one or two bolts are torqued up completely before the rest. This video is designed to guide you through the installation process. It should not be used as a replacement for the full installation and printed IOM. You should always adhere to your company health and safety guidelines, method statements, risk assessments and or safe systems of work that apply to your installations, including all applicable PPE requirements in line with your duty of care under relevant OH&S legislation.